It's easy to be thankful for the good things. A life of rich fulfillment comes to those who are also thankful for the setbacks. Be thankful when you don't know something, for it gives you the opportunity to learn. Why do we take things for granted? Why do we take for granted our life, our friends, our education, our safety, our joy, and all things around us? We all have so many things in life. Some of us don't realize what we have until we lose it. If you are living any life condition, whether good or bad, just thank God you are alive. If you can walk and talk, just be thankful for that because at the other side of the world, people are suffering to get at least a quarter of what you have. They have a rare condition. They were born differently. They don't bleed blood as other normal people. They bleed water. Their joints and muscles are weak. They can't walk freely without leaning on something. Their whole family is affected by this disorder. Even doctors can't help solve this family situation because it's in their genes. It's hereditary. They live in a complicated life ever. Meet a family which has suffered ever since the evolution of mankind. We were born like this with this disorder. The whole family works like this. We were born ten children. But here there is me and my four sisters and others are not here. We got this disorder from our mother. She also worked like this. All our family members have this disorder. What I'm thankful for is that at least my three children don't have this disorder. Did you go to any hospital? We asked. Yes, I visited the hospital and doctors told me that this disorder can't be treated. This disorder is hereditary and has no cure. That's the result they gave me. All they did was giving me a walking stick for the disabled. That will be helping me to walk. They said we can't give you a wheelchair. Doctors scanned me and result showed me muscles got separated and my backbone broke because of falling down so many times and by now I can't even work. My wife is the only one that goes to work. She sweeps the market and she gets some little money. And these are my sisters. I produced three children but two died. He who remained is no more. But his two children who, who are even here, have also the same disorder. For me, I have only one child and he is okay. In fact, our parents took us to the hospital but due to our rare condition that has no exact treatment and is even hereditary, doctors only gave us painkillers. because our knees are always painful whenever we walk, hence falling down, hence failing to walk and feel this. People who don't know us think we are drunk whenever we are walking, yet it's illness, so people get us wrong. These are my grandchildren, they also have this condition of shaking because it's hereditary. The worst case is that, like me, I don't bleed blood. I bleed water instead of blood. For instance, when I fall down and get wounded, there comes water instead of blood. My body has no blood. It's just full of water. See how I look like? See how my legs are because of falling? And same applies to the knees. They're also like this.
Due to not being stable, I fall more often. It's only by God's grace that I'm still alive. If it was by my strength, I would have died. Sincerely speaking. Doctors gave me a walking stick that helps whenever I'm walking. Without those walking sticks, making any movement is very difficult for me. What do you use that facilitates your walking mode? We asked. For me, I use a cane when walking. Without it, I would rather remain here, other than walk and fall, because without it, it's almost impossible. Maybe a home movement will be possible, going in the house and coming outside, but when going somewhere, I have to use this cane. Hi. Are you a girl? Yes, she replies. Do you go to school? No, she says. But it looks like you're wearing a uniform. No, these are clothes that we were given. This child was taken to school. Whenever she felt hungry, she would trespass and come back home. By now, she could be schooling, but because of hunger, she is now at home. So how can she attend school, yet she's hungry? We are employed, and getting food is like a miracle to us. Do you think they'll be attentive in class, yet they're hungry? It's hard, and we have no way of solving this issue. Those two used to go to school together, but due to the difficult life conditions, they relinquished, says grandma. How old are you? I don't know, I just check on my ID. Our parents produced 10 children, and one girl survived this rare condition. She doesn't tremble like we do. But two of us died, and the remaining all suffer from this issue. And the remaining all suffer from this disorder. What I request people is not a medical help because this disorder is hereditary. I would request them to get me electricity in my house. And my house needs to be cemented. And for better, owning a domestic animal would be a good idea. For me, the help I need is concerned with feeding. what to eat seems almost impossible and even a domestic animal to raise with a god or any other not a cow i cannot manage keeping it when given what to eat and taken back to school we can do better at school than other students we cannot compete them and we can try and make a better tomorrow through our education and change our parents lives says his little children. Whatever opportunities are lost or taken away, leaving gaping voids in your life will initially be filled with your stress and heartbreak. However, by design, whatever falls empty will soon become full again. A wise person once told me that whatever I lose in life will be replaced by an opportunity that will be good or better than what I was before. There's a Chinese saying that goes, if you want happiness for an hour, take a nap. If you want happiness for a day, go fishing. If you want happiness for a year, inherit a fortune. If you want happiness for a lifetime, help somebody. For centuries, the greatest thinkers have suggested the same thing. Happiness is found in helping others. So strike back against the selfishness and greed of our modern world and help out a fellow human being today. 
not next month but today I'm Elijah and this is Afromax English thank you for watching we love you remember to subscribe